21st and Godfrey, the home of Emotep Charter High School. Inside, two of the most famous alums are walking the halls, reminiscing about making history. This us right here, this the one right here. That's the one. The only, the only one, but first public league team in history of Philadelphia and the only one to win it. I mean, can't go wrong with that. Shaka Tony and Andre Mintz teamed together at TEP to win the first ever state title in football for a public team in 2015. So real, one of my favorite moments in my life. You know, I got a bunch of crazy pictures from that game. You know, you can see the uh, fur coat. It don't get too much better than winning a state championship. Now, Shaka's got that fur coat for the NFL draft. Both he and Dre are hoping to hear their names called this weekend. Well, probably I'll just laugh. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a big cry. I'm not overly emotional, but you know, it kind of just be a, a sign of relief. I think about it a lot when I'm going through something, when I'm going through hard times, a hard game, or I'm just reflecting on how hard it is to even make it at, to this point. Both Shaka and Dre served as captains at MOTEP, then for their college teams. Shaka at Penn State, Dre at Vanderbilt. Shaka hails from West Philly, Dre from South. Philly means to me, it's hard work being gritty and just forever having a chip on your shoulder. It's a different kind of jungle. You know, it's a different type of place that where you making it out of here, it's just, it's a real pat on your back because you know, we, like, there's so many friends, family members like that you don't see like, ever amount to anything or they get stuck in a situation where you know, they locked up um, or they're in the ground. Both those hardships have only hardened this pair to make a difference. Happy to be out here with y'all. Thank y'all for having me. I appreciate it. Shaka hosted a Boys and Girls Club football skills and drills camp in Nicetown two weeks ago. And Dre started a dance marathon among Vanderbilt athletes that raised nearly $100,000 for Nashville Hospital. Being drafted is the immediate goal for these two, but impacting kids is much more important long range plan. We got so many murders, a lot of high crime areas, and I just something that I want to be able to do. I can hang my hat on in life because you know, you, you can win a lot of games, you can make a lot of plays and stuff, but you know, if you could change a kid's life or save somebody's life, you know, I think that's bigger than anything we could do on the football field. I look to help kids find that football is just one avenue to take to influence people and to do things you want to do and to be successful in life. You ain't got to pick up a mic or run with a ball or shoot a hoop. There's a lot of other options out there. It's, it's just not about having to play sports or be a rapper or a drug dealer. Uh, you can be a doctor, a teacher, police officer, barber, whatever you want to do. You know, it's not just about football.